Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hope you're having an amazing day. So this is just a quick video discussing some very intriguing updates concerning Zen 6. Despite, of course, the fact that Zen 5 will not launch until later this year, there is no shortage of Zen 6 murmurs that have been circulating online. And Everest, or Ulrak29 on Twitter, has already given a couple of very interesting hints. So first of all, the code name for Zen 6 client will indeed be Medusa. And in a separate tweet, they also stated that when it comes to the rumor of stacked CCDs on an IOD, it will not feature this. And essentially, while the technology itself, of course, does exist within AMD, I mean, we've seen them do some very impressive things, so they certainly could do this. They're not going to basically because of cost and diminishing returns upon, you know, the actual technical difficulty and the cost of actually doing it now again this is of course not the same thing as let's say x3d cache but the rumor that the ccds would basically be stacked on an iod is not new some of my own sources and i reported that i was hearing very mixed information regarding this some sources were swearing adamantly that zen 6 for client would have a stacked iod and others were telling me that is definitely untrue. So it's good that we actually have some type of confirmation from Ulrak. Um, honestly, I think Zen 6 is going to be a very transitional architecture. Zen 5, of course, as everyone knows, is going to launch later this year. And I'm going to put out a video probably in the next couple of days regarding Zen 5 and Arrow Lake in a deeper kind of context. But from everything I'm hearing at this point, Zen 5 is probably going to be decently more efficient and performant. Now, that's not to say that Arrow Lake won't have some wins, because of course, you know, it probably will. But I suspect that AMD are going to be very happy with themselves going into Zen 6. I think there's going to be a lot of momentum on their side. And I'm hearing that actually there's going to be a couple of different types of Zen 6 processors. Now, obviously... There will be the traditional classic cores, and I don't really need to tell you guys what those are. There's the dense cores. Again, that's pretty well established at this point what the dense cores are. But there's also apparently a third type, although at this stage I cannot get confirmation exactly what the differences are. So I'm just going to put it out there and hopefully it'll jog something and we'll get more information from someone else. But as of the time I'm recording this, that's what I'm hearing, that there are three different types of cores. There's a classic, there's a dense of course we've already seen those in other forms on zen but there's also a different type as well so i'll be very interested to know whether that is the case just as a very small aside i still feel that it's most likely at this point amd will be sticking with am5 for zen 6 it's going to be very interesting to be honest to see what the performance levels of these processors are from what i'm hearing they are almost certainly going to debut still at 16 cores 32 threads obviously it's not like they're going to smt4 or something like that so I will be very interested to see what the performance is like on these processors. Um, actually, I was going to close it out right there, but there's one other very small thing. I don't know how many of you are going to care about this, but I'm just going to mention it anyway. I've now had a couple of people tell me that, uh, well, basically speaking, Strix.2 slash 3, so those are the smaller variants, are almost certainly cancelled internally at AMD. Now, I would like for this not to be the case, obviously, but, um, yeah, apparently this is possibly going to be happening. And instead, we're going to see some type of refresh of the current generation processors. So, there is a lot of different uh, stuff that's been happening with AMD. Basically, the company has been doing a lot of, let's say, jiggery-pokery, and I don't mean of the technical kind in the, you know, business plans because, well, basically, they just want to be more competitive. And obviously, um, it doesn't really take me to tell you guys this, uh, because it's just bloody obvious that uh, some markets at the moment are just making money hand over fist for NVIDIA and, of course, AMD, such as AI. So a lot of the investments now are really going into Radeon Technology Group, um, so it's going to be very interesting to see what AMD actually has planned over the next couple of years on the desktop. I will be super curious, honestly, to see how Intel actually responds at this point, because, well, let's just say 
And they've had some decent processors, like the 12900K, for example, the 13900K, you know, Raptor Lake was pretty decent. But, um, <laughs> I've got to tell you guys, um, I have a feeling Zen 5 could be not so good for Intel, but we'll have to wait and see. With that said, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like and all that stuff because it's YouTube. Take care of yourselves. Have an amazing day. Bye for now.